Hey guys, um, sorry I don't look so cute, it's a little hot, but I wanted to do a quick video on giving your cat an inhaler, um, which is something I've been having to do with Kippy here for a while. So let me first show you a few things. So when you get the inhaler, it's gonna come like in pieces. So what you have to do is you have to find the top that works for you, for your cat, I should say. You want it to fit over their muzzle loosely. I'm not pushing it, I'm just kind of gently holding it. It's good to get your kitty just kind of used to you doing this for short periods of time. Every cat's a little different, obviously. Some people have to restrain their cats a little bit more. Kippy's pretty, pretty tolerant. Um, and then you've got your inhaler pump, which costs a pretty penny. Let me tell you, it's about 300 bucks. Um, there's places you can get the mail order though in Canada, so you can try that. Um, and what you do is just like you would with a normal inhaler, if you're a human, you're gonna take it, you shake it a few times then what you do is, instead of shooting it straight into their face, you're gonna put it in here, it just fits back here. Now the one tip I will give you is, see that part in the front where there's a little bit of a, well, I'm gonna lose them now, there's a little bit of a hump there. I'm just gonna breathe in it so you see. See how it moves? So every time your cat takes a breath, that little paper is gonna move. So when you put this in, you wanna be sure that you can see the paper. So I usually have it in the same place, if that makes sense. Um, now your vet will tell you how many times to pump this and how many times the paper needs to go back and forth. For Kip, I have to do two full pumps and then he has to breathe it four times. Um, so a good way to do this to not lose any medicine is I hold it against myself and I do the pumps here. This way it doesn't freak him out when you have it over his mouth. So then I just quickly go like this, and I'm looking at the paper. So one, two, good boy. Three, I've got a hold, I've got a pretty hold uh, firm grip on him. That's three, and then four. And then he usually gets a treat. And then what I do, or he jumps up there, okay, bye Yenny. Then what I always do is I personally always take this out because I don't want to forget that you have to shake it. And if I take it, if I leave it here, I might just pick it up tomorrow and pump it. So you do have to shake it, which is why I take it out every single time. So I hope that helps. If you have questions, leave them. Um, Kippy has some asthma, so he's on an oral steroid, but then this has sort of been added to help a little bit. So I hope you guys found this helpful. <laughs> Kip's joining us again. Right, Kip? What do you think? What do you think, buddy?